Hidden JB Hi-Fi with another 20% off all Blu-ray and DVD sale, including 4K. Stack it on top of other specials too. How good's that? You can't beat it. So let's give Dave a call. Let's go spend some money and do another international Blu-ray haul. Woo, I'm excited. Okay, so at the shopping centre, we're outside our favourite store, about to go in. So let's give Dave a call and see what he wants. Let's wake him up. Hang on. Hello? Dave! Dave! You awake? Yeah, 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 I am now. It's uh, it's 2 a.m. What are you calling for? Are you, is everything okay? Is Iron Man okay? Guess what? Guess where I am. <gasps> JB Hi-Fi! 20% off blue, all Blu-ray and DVD today. I'm really excited about this one. Does this, does this mean what I think it means? It does. International <laughs> Blu-ray Blu Hall! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Dave, you there? Yep, okay, I'm set up. I'm ready to go. 2 a.m., but that's okay. I can always make time for Blu rays and JB Hi Fi. Oh, of course, we can. Brilliant. So, of course, we've got the 20% off this week, and as per usual, we can stack that on top of a bunch of deals. We've got movies for two for 30, we've got TV shows two for 30, we've got a bunch of like buy two, get one free deals on TV, horror movies, kids' movies, two for 40, two for 50, 4K titles, and two for 20 movies and TV shows as well. So, a whole lot of stuff we can just stack this 20% off on top of. First up, let's have a look at um, two for 40, 4K. Hey, there's a couple that I've been eyeing off for ages. Everyone out there knows this. I've been saying it for like a year and a half. I've been trying to, I've been eyeing off Dracula Untold and Van Helsing. They're finally in a two for 40 with a 20% off. And I think it might finally be time to maybe grab them. If they are still in the slip covers, of course. Oh, we've got Dracula Untold still in a slip cover. Very nice. Beautiful. Oh, very slippy goodness. I love a good slip. Ah, there we go. And in a beautiful little slip as well. Look at that. Gorgeous. A couple of monster revival movies from Universal. I see they've got the Jack Ryan movies there now too on 4K. They're new releases, I think. Uh, 30. 30 bucks. Nah, not worth it. 29.98. Yeah, I don't know how, how great they'd be, to be honest, in 4K. Great movies, but I think I'm set with my Blu-ray sets, especially at that price. I think Superman came out this week too, 1990, uh, sorry, 1979 or whatever it was. Superman the movie, there we go. That's part of 2 for 40, that's a pretty good deal, that's just come out. So that's 20 bucks or, you know, 16 dollars with the 2 for 20. But I've uh, actually got a copy coming from Amazon US with a nice slip cover. I used like a voucher that they gave me, so I got it for free. I think that's it for the 4Ks for me. I think, uh, so what else do we go? Is there anything that you're eyeing off in particular? Yeah, there's a few things here, Dave. I think, let me have a look and see. Well, there's one here. Uh, of course, Wind River. Yeah, it's supposed to be really quite a good film. It's got a really good IMDb rating, so. Obviously haven't seen it, but it looks, yeah, it looks pretty good. I like Jeremy, Jeremy Renner, Elizabeth Olsen. Hawkeye and the Scarlet Witch. Ah, Despicable Me 3. Yes, 3D as well. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, haven't seen that or got it. So that's the 3D. That's got Blu-ray, Blu-ray 3D and digital copy. Snatch that right up. Um, looking at my, just briefly looking at my list, a couple of old, a whole bunch of catalogue titles have come out since I've been away, so I feel like I'm falling behind on these. A two in particular are, I believe, part of the two for 30, which is Papillon with Steve McQueen, Dustin Hoffman, and The Coldest Story. No, it doesn't look like they have, Dave. Might have to go for a rummage. Those ones are, might be a bit difficult to find sometimes. There he goes, rummaging under the stacks. Nice little shot there. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like they've got a puppy on though. Ah, called it story. Beautiful. Yeah, classics remastered. Um, there is one more that I've just seen on my list. It only came out like not that long ago. I'm very surprised to see this one appear because I'm sure it's only been out for like a week or two. Ocean's 8. Now I've seen this. I went to the movies to see this, but you haven't seen it. I actually really enjoyed it. There you go, 2 for 30. I can't believe that. Like, I want to look up JB. I'm sure, I'm sure it's not been out long. Actually, this ca that came out September. That came out the 5th of September, so I'm a little bit behind at the moment. Well, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. I've got a whole list here. I'm sure you've got your own list. I'll send you my stuff. You've got your stuff. Have a look around, see what's there, and uh, we'll reconcile back home and uh, take a look at what you got. I'm sure you're going to spend big, as usual. Ah, uh, well, you know... What else do I do with my time? All right. Well, enjoy your time at JB Hi-Fi, and uh, I'll get you to call me back when uh, when you get home. When I get home. Yeah, okay, cool. We'll go through and see what we picked up. Sounds good. Thank you, mate. See you then. Let's hit Dave on the line. Oh, oh, old man Rick is calling us, so let's answer this call and check out what haul he got at JB Hi-Fi. Did he pick up a small amount of stuff? Did he pick up a big amount of stuff? I'm guessing it's probably the latter knowing old man Rick. Let's answer this. Hey, Dave, you're there. How are you, mate? Yeah, back home. I've uh, I've had a bit of a I've had a bit of a haul. That's bag one. And there's bag two. Two bag two. Mate, you've got to come back home because I'm just spending too much money uh, going there by myself. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Let's get through it quick because it's 3 a.m. now. So let's get started real quick. There were a couple you were after that we already know about. So there's Dracula and Van Helsing, both on 4K, obviously. And yeah, obviously, regular viewers will know I've been eyeing them off for ages, so since last Christmas. So now let's go through some. Yep, all right, let's have a look at what we got. Shep Aquatic, ah, uh, yes. That's the one about uh, uh, Ted yeah, Kennedy. Last Flag Flying. Ah, uh, yes, that looks pretty good too. So that looks that doesn't look too bad. So they were both two for 30s then? Uh, yeah, yeah, most of them were, uh, were two for 30 or two for 20. or There's one there called Kodachrome. It's supposed to be quite a good film for all the photographers out there. Um, this doesn't look too bad. It's an older film. Nick and Nora's Infinite Plays. Yes, I've heard of this. It's one of those ones that's got like a little bit of a cult following. Like an indie film, supposed to be quite good. I'm looking forward to seeing that. New catalogue title from Shock, I think. That's only just come out on Blu-ray in Australia. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to check that out. Lady Bird. Yes, yep. people have been going on about this one. So many people saying, you got to get it, you got to watch it. So we've got it now and we'll, yep. we'll check it out. Here's another one that I thought uh, looked like a really good little film as well. The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. A title, but it's supposed to be okay. Yeah, I've heard I've heard good things about it. I don't know much about it, but it's one of those ones I've heard about. So now this is a film I think you've seen, but I haven't seen. Game Night, yes, I saw that at the cinemas with a Lee show. I loved it. We both really enjoyed that. Next one, Love Simon. Oh, yes, I've heard of this. I've heard great things about this one too. It's supposed to be quite a good little film too. So we'll give that a bit of a look. Ah, uh, Quiet Place. Yes, I was hoping you were going to get this. Heard raving things about this. I just, everyone's just going on about how great this movie is. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm a big fan of John Krasinski. Here's another one. It's an Australian film, Dave. Um, and got, of course, Brian Brown in it. The all Australian films are around. Sweet Country. Yeah, I've heard of this one too. Again, not yeah, one I know too much about, but apparently it's very good. A um, couple of older titles that you were after. Hold It Story, yes. That's the one you found in store. Awesome. I asked the guy about the other one you're after, Papillon. Ah, uh, gorgeous. Yes. Yes. I, this, this is, is one actually of those... a really good film. I've actually, I've, I've actually seen both of these, yeah. my, obviously, years ago. And they're actually really, really good films. I'll enjoy them. I'll enjoy them a lot. Papillon is one that I've heard so many things about over the years, but I'm ashamed to have never watched. And I'm a huge Dustin Hoffman fan. I've never watched it. I don't know much about this one, but I needed to find another two for 30 to go with one that I uh, that I did actually want. So it's one called Blockers. 
Don't know about this. I remember seeing the ads and thinking it just looked like absolute trash. But it's been it got fairly decent reviews. I think that's like a, a, a what do they call it? Um, certified fresh title on Rotten Tomatoes. So I don't know how that happens, but usually that's a fairly decent indicator of a movie's uh-huh. going to be good or, or not. So it'd be interesting to check that out. Maybe you can test that out for me before I get home. There's probably a few I'll test out before you get home. <laughs> yeah, I think so. There's another one. I can't believe this was. Uh... This was down to two for 30. It's only been out for about a month. Awesome. I enjoyed that one. I enjoyed that when we saw that cinema. So I think you'll like that one too. What's next? Hope so. Unsane. Yes. Now, I've, I, it's funny enough, I was actually watching the trailer for this today. Steven Soderbergh movie, who actually did the original Oceans films, he directed this one and filmed it entirely on an iPhone 7. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, no, well, that'll be uh, interesting to see. Um, this next one is an old classic Australian film back made back in, oh, I can't remember, um, saw it years ago, probably late 90s maybe. Actually a really, really good film. Um, and uh, those Australians that are uh, your subscribers, they might know the film, and it's actually a really good film. Yeah, no, fa- fantastic, fantastic Aussie movie, highly regarded. I believe Kenneth Branagh's in that too. Of course, English uh, actor. Uh, next one. Being Flynn. Yes, I've heard about this. That's interesting. It's in a, like a red case. Yeah. yeah I, I thought don't it was know quite... if I've ever seen a Blu-ray in a red case before. Um, now, here's an old... The next one's an older an older film as well. I'm not sure when it was made. You probably, you'll probably know, Dave. Um, with uh, Francis McDormand, Liam Neeson, Colin Friels. It's a, uh, a cult classic. Ah, uh, Dark Man. Dark, Dark Man. 1990s, sometime, maybe late 1980s. I'm not sure. I've never seen it. But apparently it's, like, fantastic. It's like a cult superhero kind of comic booky kind of movie, like action sort of comedy kind of. I, I, I'm not too sure. It's like one of those huge cult things that people just love. I'm looking forward to checking that out. I'm uh, happy you found that. That's from Shock as well, a recent Shock. A couple more here. This big one, me three. Yeah, you did pick that one yep. up in the shop. Awesome. Yeah, that was, uh, the, you know, obviously it says there three D special and special edition, all that sort of stuff. So we've seen we've seen one and two. Enjoyed those. Um, this is supposed to be a really good film too. Very cool. Is, yeah, another one of those ones I've heard heaps about, but don't really know anything about. But I'm yeah, looking forward to seeing that one. All right, what's next? Ah, uh, yes, Maze Runner three. Death Cure. You, you were third. looking at that one. Yep, it's the third one in the trilogy. Awesome. And this one I didn't really particularly want to want to get, but I know your mother will enjoy it. It's uh, not really a Blake's film, this one. But I had to find a I had to find another two for thirty to go with Death Cure. So Big Paulie will love that that one. Oh Big Paulie, he's uh, been going to all the uh, Poundlands, and that's like all they have on Blu-ray. I think he's been buying. <laughs> He's been buying every one that he comes across. He's going to throw them in a wood chipper or something. He wants to get 50 of them and then throw them in a wood chipper or something crazy. I'll pass it through you, Paulie. Here you go. Can you, you got it? Fantastic. Hey, that's one I won't be watching. All right, next. Um, now, the next lot are, are actually all, t- uh, are all TV shows, Dave, so we'll just flick through them really quickly because it's these were more my sort of gets than, than yours. You know how I love uh, I love my renovation programs and I love uh, I love my grand designs. So I picked up series seven and grand designs Australia and series five of grand designs Australia because I've already got season six. So of course you know I'm a car guy and I love my cars and I'm an old school muscle car guy and I love watching show programs about rebuilding old cars. And this is a great show. I love that show. Um, this one here I've not really seen before, but it's supposed to be it's supposed to be pretty good. So I picked up three seasons of that to have a look. Only five bucks each, and with the twenty percent off, they're like four bucks each. So I sell it really cheap, and they'll go give me something to watch when I'm, you know, sitting at home by myself and your mother's working and all that sort of stuff. And that's actually a spin-off. That Miss Misfit Garage is actually a spin-off of this show, which is Fast and Loud. And this is this is actually a really good show too. I actually really enjoy. Really enjoy this one, um, and Kindy Cousins. There's a few others that I that I like to watch too. Now I've got one more movie, but we didn't buy this one. It was actually it was actually dropped off to us um, 
by a friend of ours. He didn't he didn't enjoy the film, but well, I think we didn't mind it. It was okay. Ready Player One. Yeah, I, lo- I loved so, it. So uh, big shout out to Michael. Thanks, Michael. Um, I don't get it. I love this movie. I just but Michael didn't like. He left a little message in there, didn't he, from memory? Yeah, he did actually. I think it's uh, yeah, it's in the it's in the disc. There we go. He says, uh, Rick, I played it. I didn't like it. I don't want it. You can have it, Michael. So thanks, Michael. Pretty we'll, copy we'll, of we'll Ready Player One. Um, not the greatest film we've ever seen, but it's actually good fun. It's, That's all right. Beautiful. You love, you're going to love a free free movie. Free 4K. Beautiful. Thanks very much, Michael. <laughs> and that's um, that, Dave, is a lot. That's all. Hold it up. Let's have a look. Let's have a little big pile there. Uh, oh, uh, my Lord. Look at all that. Yeah, so that's you your uh, thumbnail right there. <laughs> yeah. Screen grab you your thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is an easy couple of hundred bucks worth of Blu-rays and DVDs there. You're a crazy uh, a couple man. couple hundred? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they were all mostly two for 20s, two for 30s, plus 20% off. Got some good deals yeah. there. People keep asking for us to do an international unboxing i got tons of stuff at home. I've still been buying crap, and it's all been going home. We'll do an international unboxing. I've bought a bunch of Blu-rays over here. Not a whole lot, but I think at last count, I think I got like 10 movies or something I picked up while I've been here. So we'll do a unboxing Blu-ray update as well and stuff like yeah, that. Cool. I know we've been saying it for a little while, but we'll get we'll get on top of that because people have been asking for that. So Yeah, that'll be, that'll be pretty cool. So I've got probably, I don't know, Maybe a dozen parcels or something. I don't know. So we'll have to get to that and uh, and uh, get that all sorted out as well. All right, cool. Sounds good. For now, it's like 3.30 a.m. now, and I'm going to go to bed because you woke <laughs> me up to do a Blu-ray haul, but that's okay because uh, I love my Blu-rays. I might, I might go and have some light lunch. Good idea. <laughs> get cracking. All right. Thanks for your help, old mate Rick. Thanks for doing another one of these with us. And we'll uh, we'll catch up with you again soon in another video. Peace out. Good night. Good afternoon. Whatever. Just all right. So that was Old Man Rick's Blu-ray hunt and haul at JB Hi-Fi. Our second international uh, Blu-ray hunt. Yes, it is 3:30 a.m. The old man woke me up to go shopping for Blu-rays. I couldn't resist it because I love the things. I know you guys love them too. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, if you want more of these in the future, let us know down below. And additionally, let us know if you do want us uh, to do a international uh, unboxing of all the parts I've got there. Or do you just want us to leave those over for when I get home and I'll just do like a massive one when I get home. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. As I said, 3.30. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. I've been working all day. So take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos, you like what you've seen, you'd like to see more like this in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen right now, and also hit that like button down below if you're feeling extra generous. Also, don't forget to check out my many social media accounts, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day.